A, no to już możesz mówić. Jak Siema zaczął. YouTube, zaczynają się obowiązki, czyli idziemy na konferencję nagrać Wam co nieco. Otrzymaliśmy ładne identyfikatory, więc mamy prawo także do spotkania, później takie meet and greet z, z atletami, więc może tam będzie okazja do wspólnych zdjęć i wymienienia paru zdań. Zobaczymy, ale nie będziemy Was zanudzać. I czemu my tu idziemy, co? No to idziemy właśnie, No idziemy. właśnie ty wszedłeś tutaj. No bo tak nagrywam i idę, co nie? No, no beka. No. Kurde, nie pamiętam jej imienia, ale to była Bikini Pro. No. Do... Dobra, koniec. Kon konferencja następna. <laughs> Contest will start at 10 a.m. So the latest you should be backstage is no later than 9 a.m. 9 a.m. you should be backstage getting ready. We will start sharp at 10 a.m. 2:12. After 2:12, we'll follow by bikini. So um, the ladies, you should also be backstage around 9 a.m. doing your hair, getting ready. Okay, so 9 a.m. be there, and we should start men's open judging at 11 a.m. so I would be there around 10 the latest come up there's plenty of room backstage pro 10 is going to be there helping you guys out so um, nothing to worry about um, for Saturday I think we're starting uh, we're, once again we're starting with the 212 division followed by bikini and then men's open uh, we're, we should start around 7 o'clock okay might be a couple minute delay here and there while audience file in but we should start at 7, so don't be late. Okay, we run a very clean fashion show. Some of you were here last year, you know, if you show up late, you know, you're going to be rushing. So make sure you're on time, don't be late. Let's see what else. Some of you are going on to San Marino after this, okay? Please know, the shuttle will leave at 4.30 in the morning. 4.30 in the morning, Sunday. Okay, so make sure you're on time. Don't be late. Something to 
Remember, the map will weigh in right after the press conference. Yeah. 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 Pick a name. Uh, I'd like to welcome the press, of course, uh, for all being here today covering this event. Obviously, uh, the fans worldwide will be seeing this on the internet as we uh, proceed through the weekend. Um, we've got some uh, really some great lineups here. Um, next to the Olympia, this is probably the best lineup that we've had, uh, especially in the men's open uh, for the entire year. So, congratulations on that, and we expect a great show. Uh, forever refer you as. Uh, but for those who don't know, Kai has been named the ambassador to the Amateur Olympia. He's been very instrumental in bringing uh, more awareness uh, and bringing the competitions up uh, to where they are now. So, uh, Kai, you're the defending champ here, I understand. Um, so, uh, we thought you were here as an ambassador role, but I, I'm looking down the list and I see the name of Kai Green. So, I'm taking that as you will be competing tomorrow, my friend. Essentially, you know, 
travel around, meet more people, and uh, to enhance the sport, and to obviously, you know, be the ambassador that I know I am, and to make sure that whoever wants to be a part of such a sport, such as bodybuilding, can not just look at me, but all these amazing athletes, as they all have a message, they all have a journey, and they can attach themselves and such, and uh, be better every day. And it doesn't hurt that, you know, the Olympia was actually featured on NBC Sports. Um, that's a huge accomplishment. I definitely have to take my hat off to all the people involved, especially Robert Chang. Uh, that was definitely one of the coolest things that I was able to be a part of as a professional bodybuilder, because I do know that as a Mr. Olympia champion, your hope and dream is to have your sport, which it is a sport, actually be featured on a major network in the U.S. So we're making great strides, and I'm very excited to be a part of that. And uh, you know, really pumped to actually watch these guys uh, get after this weekend. Well, Phil, uh, just before you got here, Kai said that uh, the reason that you weren't competing here uh, was because that you were scared of him and you didn't want him. <laughs> Phil, Phil knows my uh, stuff by now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're just making up stuff now. But, um, <laughs> but the bottom line, Phil, is a lot of people wanted to know uh, why you opted not to compete on any of the circuit shows after the Olympia. Uh, you know... I was able to do it last year, you know, I did the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic Europe, and shortly thereafter I just realized, gosh, I just needed my body to have a rest. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot out of me to, to go against, you know, all these guys. I mean, these guys are incredible. And, uh, you know, I also felt that, you know, winning Olympia is one thing, but to be on the road and to compete, I truly didn't feel that I was giving my best to the fans. Obviously, you know, a lot of fans want to see me on the stage, and I, and I totally understand that. And, and who knows, maybe next year I do the circuit all over again. But I felt at the time, my likeness would be greater utilized by meeting and greeting fans while these guys are actually on the stage. Um, you can spend more time with me, get to know me, get to, get to ask more questions when I'm not, you know, face first in chicken breast and broccoli. When I'm, when I'm not depleted. Um, I definitely feel that when I'm at Expos, you know, I, I tend to have a more um, exciting, you know, moment when I'm not competing. This, like I said, doesn't mean that I haven't thought about it. Uh, this is actually one of the shows that I've actually had on my list. Um, but just for this year, it just didn't happen to be. Uh, so who knows? Um, I've never been to this show, so depending on how it all works out, uh, who knows in 2015. All right, thank you, Phil Heath, everybody. Dennis Wolf. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Dennis, congratulations on your victory at the Arnold Spain. Uh, I think everybody would agree you look great, well deserved, uh, very tough competition there as well. Uh, but I want to focus on this competition uh, here this weekend. Uh, Kai Green, a last minute entrant into the show. I don't think a lot of people saw that one coming, at least of all yourself. How do you feel about Kai entering the show at the last minute? Sure. So, everybody's hitting the everyone wants to win. I don't care who's competing. For me, I mean, I'm doing my job, doing my big entry stage, and I'm sure people are, you know, I'm sure not, and the race is not going to win. That's it. So you leave it in the judges' hands. Well, no, we are not going to give you. See my man? <laughs> there is, uh, if I don't shave, I cannot, you know, uh, you know, it's judging. Judge Bodyman is not the one thing to be in shape and to be on stage is another thing. So, and, uh, you know, it's not to judge. I don't want to be a judge. And uh, I feel great. Uh, I think I can uh, beat anyone, but just need to be on time, point, and the show. And that's it. And that's, uh, I think, everybody is going to do this. Everybody can beat another guy. And uh, like we saw in Dubai, we saw in. Uh, Thank you, Dennis. All right, speaking of winners, Dexter Jackson. Winner in Dubai just last week. Congratulations, Dex. In Dex, I was looking over some numbers. We were talking the other day. I was asking you if the amount of wins, victories that you have in your career. Um, is the most of all time. Uh, I actually did look it up. I believe Ronnie still has 26. I think you're right behind it. 20? 
We're 21? 20, 21 with this show, right? 20 right now. <laughs> no. We're not going to look that far ahead. No, well, it's only 24 hours away, so uh, it's not too far ahead. Uh, but, Dex, congratulations on that. I mean, obviously, if anybody's got a chance to break the streak, um, it's certainly going to be yourself, as obviously you're showing no signs of slowing down. A lot of people thinking you're better now at 45 than you were uh, the last two, three, or four years. So, uh, still up there in the mix uh, with the Olympians on the Olympia stage, um, and still in the mix here for a title. Congratulations, Dex. Thank you. Yeah, a few words, Dex or Jackson. <laughs> Well, thanks. Give me your feelings here. I mean, uh, like I said, we happened to be talking about it just yesterday. 45 years old. I mean, uh, we were on the Olympia stage. You, you were having a good time on the stage uh, in the pose down and, and having it up with the guys. Uh, and as you walked off, you turned to me and you said, "Hey, 45 years old and still cashing checks." Yeah, man. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, it's all about having fun. You know, I've been doing this a long time. And um, you know, who do who don't like to? Uh, don't like what they do, enjoy what they do, and, uh, and be happy with what they're doing. You know, if I didn't, if I hated this sport and just do it just for the hell of it, I would be retired a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So it's something I love to do. It's a job to me. You know, we earn good money. You know what I'm saying? It's a way to make a living thanks to the IPB. And um, you know, so you know, it, it's 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 been a long time coming. Um, I've been competing now for about 20, 25 years, 16 years as a pro, and um, how I keep going, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I'm just blessed with great genetics, you know? uh, but um, and I take care of myself before. So taking care of yourself and, and, you know, especially when it comes to injuries and stuff like that, I've never been injured in my life. You know what I'm saying? I train smart, you know, and a lot of people these days like to get away from doing machine work and that type of stuff. You know, I mean, I mean, I food is very good. We do a lot of machine work and stick with you. And Dex, at the seminar we did the uh, Sunday seminar after the Olympia, um, your answer as to why you keep going was, was pretty simple. You said, give me another job where I can make the money that I'm making, training an hour a day, uh, you know, living the life of, of, a, of a pro bodybuilder. You said, if you could show me a job, I'll take it, but until then, I'll keep going. Exactly. You know, I, I get people all the time, so it makes you want to ask you, you want to make you want to all that you want it. You know, why are you still compete? What do you got to prove? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I go to the gym an hour a day. Um, you know, you have an hour and a half on top of it. So if you can find me a job where I can go to work for an hour a day, and make this kind of money, I can't work out. But until then, I'm still doing well. There's no way I'm going to try to All right, thank you. Dexter Jackson, everybody. All right, continuing on with the champs, Flex Lewis, three-time 212 champ, your current reigning Olympia champ, Flex. Um, congratulations, first of all, on your Olympia victory, your third. Uh, but this was not the easiest victory for you. Actually, it was probably the hardest victory uh, as you were battling your own body uh, pretty much for the entirety of the weekend. So uh, while not feeling your best, you certainly still uh, looked the best, at least in the judge's eyes, and that was enough for the victory, but that was a tough one. Well, first things foremost, I thank uh, thank you really for coming out today. Um, uh, coming back to Prague as the defending champion, I'm, uh, I'm on it again. I, I did that to my mother on stage last year. I said I would be back. So, um, in terms of your question, uh, yeah, I had a, a great prep, and uh, just one of them things came into Vegas, stomach stuck in the but you know, like uh, with a, a, little, uh, a little bump in the road, you know, when you get to the top of the mountain and you look down, it's a great view. So, when I had that medal around me, um, that meant how much more special the athlete was. History in the making of the 50th year of Joe Weir, Mr. Olympia. So, uh, that would be my comment. And uh, you talk about how tough this was. I mean, you didn't actually know if you were going to make it on stage initially. Uh, you actually thought, I might have to pull out of this show. No, that's you still in talking about. <laughs> no, there was, there was not a question in my mind. Uh, uh, I think uh, I've seen Peter McGough and actually wore something. I've seen him just play a walk on stage. And, um, I just had to put it away, you know. Uh, I'm a professional athlete. 
pride myself on being that, that pro, giving back to the fans, and, and there was not a question I was going to ever pull up the show. I just uh, sucked it up, put it all into my routine, and, and then uh, again, when I got off stage, I dealt it, got around my team, and uh, we made a plan on the plan of action, and I came back at that night show a different man. So um, I just also like to add that this is the best, as you mentioned earlier, open class since the Olympia. Um, and I, as a, as a champion, and I, as a fan, I'm very, very much so looking forward to seeing the back of on stage this tomorrow. So again, with the 212, there's a lot of guys that have done the scene, and there's going to be a, just a bigger back in the 212 class, guys. So, um, so I'm very excited for this whole weekend. And we talk about how tough the lineup in the 212 is these days. Uh, David Henry, who's a former champ, uh, back then I believe it was either the 202 or the 210 that he won. Um, and, and best in the world. Showed up at the Olympia this year, looked good, but didn't make the top six. And that's the great thing about the 212. You know, if somebody's off, if somebody else is on. So we all got to bring our own game, and you know it's, it's all about condition, and that's what the 212 guys bring. So um, I know that uh, there's a lot of guys that have done the circuit, and there's a lot of new blood that are coming this weekend, so that's the exciting thing. You know, you don't know who's going to turn up, but I know when I'm bringing tomorrow, and that's the, the same guy that I, that I left at the Olympia. And the Olympia. All right. Thank you, Flex Lewis, your three-time Olympia champion. Victor Martinez, Dominican dominator. Vic, we talk about the uh, veterans of the game. Dex obviously been compete 25 years. You're not too far behind that. Uh, you've been on the circuit for some time. You've had your ups. You've certainly had your downs, but you've rebounded back from every single one of them, and you're still in the mix. Uh, a lot of people saying that this year you're finally kind of getting back to where you were before, close to 100 percent. Congratulations, man. Uh, thank you, Bob. Um, uh, first, I'd like to say uh, you know, thank you, uh, LBS, uh, for you know having me here for this show. And uh, Bob, in order to continue, you got to look into. Uh, Someone that you know, you know, follow a good lead, and Dexter's definitely one of them. You know, Tony Freeman. I was telling him that the other day. Um, you know, I see him competing. It's, it's motivating, keeps you going, and uh, just coming back. You know, with the little setbacks I had. Um, I'm good enough to keep coming back. So here I am, and uh, look forward to this weekend. The new fans over here, Frog. Can't wait to meet them, and it's gonna be a good show. Uh, Vic, you also look like you were having some fun on the Olympia stage, and uh, I've obviously seen you guys for some years now competing. Um, but it seemed like some of the veterans this year, uh, Dexter included, uh, definitely yourself in that mix, seemed to be uh, taking a little bit more time to enjoy the surroundings, uh, experience the Olympia weekend, of course, so we are 50th being celebrated this year. So it's something a little bit special in the air, but did it feel special on stage? Again, 50th anniversary being there, and especially uh, being the fan base that was around on Olympia weekend saying, uh, with all due respect to, to Phil and Kai, that you were actually in the best condition on Friday. Your thoughts after the prejudging Friday night at the Olympia? Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank you guys for inviting me. It's a uh, pleasure to be back here. Uh, yeah, you were in great condition, and like I say, I know you don't pay attention a lot to the, you know, the boards and, and all the fan base out there, but uh, you were getting some, some pretty good thumbs up. Um, your thoughts now? I mean, obviously we're close to Olympia now, you've been on the circuit now. Uh, you basically said you're going to do every show. Uh, I know last year you hit quite a bunch, and um, it don't look like you're slowing down this year. So, uh, how's your prep going with all the travel and competing? And it's been uh, very exciting to see this. Uh, being a fan of bodybuilding, I can the days you have the opportunity to have seen something like this. You know, Uh, I'm going to have some fun. Uh, if you 
enjoy the journey and uh, see what happens. All right, thank you, Sean Roden. Stójmy się tak z tym. I dlatego tak. właśnie jesteśmy tutaj jako pierwsi i zaraz wbijamy sobie na meet and greet. Ale chyba to nie będzie pół godziny wcześniej. Chyba po prostu, że może być wcześniej. A nie, chociaż w sumie jeszcze minuta. No, pół godziny będzie wcześniej. No tak. No i tyle, no działamy. Tak. My będziemy sobie tam. Dobry, zrobił foty. 